this is just uh, going back. I'm still attempting to convey to you what I do. Uh, as you know, if you've been following these videos uh, very long, you know that I was a kinesiologist. And I um, said a little while ago, as a kinesiologist, if you know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing. Uh, what I mean by that is, as a kinesiologist, you have to be open to every possibility and know that every patient is so different that nobody can be the same. And you have to be willing to sit in a certain state of confusion when you get somewhere and you don't know what's going on and just kind of sit and almost revel in it and then see, okay, where does the system want me to go here? Where, what is it that the system is asking for that I can't see how to get there right now? And in my seminars, we interview everybody in the class. It takes a class, uh, and that's mandatory. And there's a lot of times where we sit around and I tell stories, and, I'm, and somebody said, what are we doing now? And I said, waiting, kind of. I said, for what? And I said, well, that's, I'm not sure. That's what I said. I know, I'll know it when I see it. You'll know it when I see it. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, it's this state of awareness that comes into a person, a state of freedom. Their system relaxes. And when it happens, you can see it. And if I can point it out to the person and make them consciously aware of that state, then they can default to that state consciously. And from that state, anything is possible. They're right in present time subconsciousness. They're sitting in a relaxed state. And their whole system is open to possibilities. If we make a conclusion right then and there about their lives, that's what we have done. We have stopped the world, made a, a conclusion about an instant in their lives, so it becomes this rolling minute of now that you have to allow everything to change in, and you have to stop and see, okay, wait a minute, where do we go from here? But then you have to let them see how to respond. And if they can see, if you can see, when you do a class with me, if you can see how to respond, if you can look at your life a little bit differently, if we can stop and say, wait a minute, this is your life, look at it from outside, you're living, you're living a magnificent life, you're living a brilliant, beautiful life, I can see it. Sometimes you can't see it because you're in the midst of it and you hang around with people who aren't seeing the magnificence of their lives. And once we can stop your world and say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute this is as good as it gets right now. And that's the great line from uh, one of the Jack Nicholson movies when he's out and he looks at the waiting room of the psychologist and says, what if this is as good as it gets? And they all go into this complete shock. But it's the truth. This, oh, maybe that's the name of the movie too. <laughs> um, this is as good as it gets. Uh, this, your life, however you're living it, right now is as good as it gets. You can, if you work at it and see how to default to the pristine operating system, then you can go to higher states of awareness and more magnificence in your life. But that takes a little bit of learning and a lot of discipline afterwards, a lot of practice, a lot of willingness to stay in those higher states of awareness and willingness to do whatever it takes to stay there. I went to see... Um, where are we at time-wise? Well, we're done with this video. www.micpeakperformance.com